Yep, this is just another video. I hadn't posted anything in quite a while. Been extremely busy, a lot going on. But all this amounts to is I replaced my old pickup. I'd had this 2011 since she was new. But I'm gaining age and dragging stuff in and out of the bed of that truck got to be a pain in the neck so I have upgraded vehicles kept the old girl pretty nice shape one little scratch on the tailgate I've picked up a 2020 transit van considerably more space 10 foot clear inside 12 foot if you go clear to the doghouse but on my way bringing this home it had such a harmonics vibration I've never had ringing in the ears even with all the equipment I have been around but this thing had me about to cry time I got home so quick as I got at home I got online and started looking for sound deadener and in the process of looking through YouTube videos I came up with this stuff and it seems to do a wonderful job I filled in all the single areas and I'm adding insulation over the top not a lot, but just enough to uh, keep it quiet, stop any of that crazy vibration, harmonics. But I have pretty well added sound deadener into about every area that was reachable. Had my grandson help me some. I kept him busy. And it, uh, I've got my rack space and all that laid out, which I'll probably make a true video on that, but I disassembled the doors, sound deadened them, added insulation over the top of everything, and in the process done a little rewiring, all LED lights on the inside, this thing lights the sky at night so you have no trouble seeing and of course I'm getting older so my vision's not any better either but yeah I've used this foam board which I backed it with double sided indoor outdoor carpet tape and then also used hot glue along the seams and the edges and then ran foil tape around the outside of it just to give it a little better look. The uh, sides and that will eventually, well, I'll have shelving and actually basket space built clear out. I've picked up a piece of actual foam back carpet, a map to fit this it's exactly right and it doesn't cover everything is in the neighborhood of four hundred dollars I've got more than enough carpet here to do it with the fasteners and everything involved and got just a touch over a hundred dollars in it and I guess if you're a handyman and you can't manage to get this much taken care of but I just got this thing last Friday of course today's Thursday but I had to wait on some parts and then through other videos I found this rivet nut tool and what you do there which a lot of the holes I'll be able to use but you crimp an actual nut into there so I'll be able to use fasteners to fasten everything well along the walls I plan on using strut I've got pieces made up that everything will mount to this strut that will be mounted to the side so if I decide to change anything it's all easy on easy off now here 
is the actual stainless fasteners and the rivet nuts. And I tried to turn that picture a million times and it wouldn't turn. But then this aluminum stripping will go over all the edges and be cut to fit for the carpet once I get it down. It's not a whole lot of a video, but I hadn't posted anything in quite some time. Just a lot going on. Thank you very much for watching. I will try to get a little more content coming your way. Bye.